Yo, and what is going on guys? How are you guys doing? Welcome back to our Arsenal career. Remember, if you're not subbed, please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. So let's get into this. As you can see, we have the second leg. <coughs> Excuse me, I still have a bit of a bunged up nose. But we have the second leg of the semi-final Capital One Cup. And here is Liverpool's team. They've got Bogdan in goal. We've got Klein, Sacco, Skirtle, Moreno, Ibe, Henderson, Chan, Milner, Lalana, and Sturridge up top. And here is... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Sorry about this, guys. But we have Czech, Bellerin, Chambers, Gabriel, Rodriguez, Camacho, Ramsey, Ozil, Scherler, Mares in for his debut. Absolutely pumped up about this. Here we've got Liverpool on the attack. They've got Chan. Look at the trick pass to Sturridge. But Czech... Gathers that ball, going into the top corner. Here we go. We had a throw in. Nice bit of one touch play. We've got Urzi on the ball, passes it to Mares. Nearly in there for his first goal. But Klein, yet again, even in the last game, he was all over getting blocks in. And here we go. We've got a corner. Comes back out to Mares. Oh, cut a step over, pass one. Gonna do, oh, step over again, pass two. He's going to pass it into Ra Ramsey. What? That should have, either way of the goalie, that probably would have gone in. But here we go on the attack. Schurl, a bit lucky there, gets it over to Gareth Bale. He's going to turn on his left foot, of course. On his left foot, he's going to give it out to Camacho on his left foot. But if handball was on there, that would have been a penalty. But I don't agree with handball on FIFA, to be honest. But here we go, we've got Milner on the ball. Look at the run. I don't know, for some reason, he is very good on this game. But here we go, we've got Liverpool on the attack. Down, back to Milner. Are they going to get a cross in here? Milner's very good at crossing. He gets a deep one in there, but Bellerin is there to deal with that cross. Very dangerous cross in here. They've got the corner, but Czech easily gathers that, and he throws it <coughs> throws it out to Andre Schurler. Look at this. He's on the attack. He's basically got one player to beat here. Here he goes. Is he going to cut inside? Yes, he is. Step over and a cut inside, and he has a shot, but it gets tangled in between his feet. What the hell happened there? Andre Schurler, come on, man. Here we've got Ozil waiting for that run. Here we've got Schurler on the ball. He's going to have a shot towards goal. And he makes it 1-0 just before half-time. Yes. 1-0, Andre Schurler. Not had a great season, but I believe he will start scoring more goals. I do believe that. He's a very good player. But here we go. Got Ramsey picking up that loose ball into Ozil. What's Ozil going to do? He's going to give it to Bow. Straight into Mares. He's through on goal. Oh, no. Over the bar, Mares. Come on, you should be doing better than that. I should be doing better than that. But there we go, we're going 1-0. We are leading on the night, but as you know, it is 1-1 on aggregate. They won the first leg 1-0. And we are currently 1-0 up at half-time. Andre Schurler, three minutes before the break. And here we go. Eight minutes into the second half, Liverpool on the attack. Nice bit of play. They've got Sturridge on the wing. Chambers gets in front, but Sturridge gets back in front of Chambers. And here he is. He's cutting in on his left foot, on his stronger foot. And he has a shot. But just past the post. That should have been going on target. Especially as someone like Sturridge's calibre. That, that should have been on target. But here we go. We're on the attack, Camacho. Ozil out to Mares. What's Mares going to do? It? On his left foot. The keeper spills it, but gathers it straight back up. And here we go, we're going to make some subs. Ozil looking a bit tired there. So we're going to put on, because, no, we're going to put Sanchez through the middle. No, we put Bow through the middle. Sanchez out on the right. And that is a pretty damn good sub. Bow through the middle. But here we go, Camacho winning that ball. Out to Sanchez. Here we go, we've got Sanchez, fresh legs. Look at that. Moreno can't keep up of him. And he plays it into Gareth Bow. He plays it over to Ramsey. But Klein is there yet again. He's very good on this game. Very good, and that is it, full time, and it is 1-0. We win the game on the night, but as you know, 1-1 on aggregate goes to extra time. Not looking forward to this, to be honest, because obviously, but here we go, we've got Mares coming off, obviously exhausted, and we put on a Wobi, fresh legs for this, this extra time. We've got Liverpool on the attack. I wasn't, I wasn't looking forward to this, because you know, the time goes so quick, hardly anything happens. But here we go, we've got Liverpool on the attack, we've got Henderson, gives it to Moreno. Oh, he does a bit of skill there. Back to Henderson, whips it in, and Lucas is there with a volley. And I believe if that was on target, that would have beat Czech with pace. 
But like I said, nothing really happens in these halves, extra times. But we're going still 1-0, looking like it's going to go to penalties. But here we are in the 109th minute of the game. We've got Ramsey on the ball here. Goes past Lucas, but Lucas takes him out. And we're going to, we've got Gareth Bale on the free kick. He's going to take a quick one, gives it to Camacho, gets it back. Bellerin on the edge of the box. He's going to have a shot towards goal. Yes, he is, but it just goes past. Bogdan's left-hand post. Oh, my God. Here we go. We've got six minutes. Here we go on the attack. Playing a nice bit of football. But Sacco wins that. And Coutinho skips past that, that tackle. And he plays it out to James Milner. What's Milner going to do? I would be cutting in there. But he puts in a cross. And Sturridge is there with a the header. If I was Milner there, I would have been cutting into that and having a shot. But there we go. 100. Look at that. It is going to penalty, isn't it, guys? But here we go. We win the ball back. We've got Camacho. Look at the run in the middle by Gareth Bale. No energy whatsoever, but he waits. And Sanchez is in through on goal outside of the foot. And he makes it 2-0. Just back from injury. I don't think this is his first game. I think he had one game before this, but recently back from injury. And he makes it 2-0. And we are going to the Capital One Cup final. Ha ha, Liverpool. <laughs> but we are through to the Capital One Cup final. Gareth Bale, obviously very happy there. Look at that. Absolutely thrilled. Capital One Cup final. I believe we'll probably play Manchester United. They won the... F there we go. Look at that. 6-2. They won 3-0 in the first one. And they must have won 3-2 in the second leg. And here we go. 22nd game of the league season. And we are away at Stoke. I believe they're doing very well. I think they're in 10th place at the minute. So it's not going to be an easy game. We're at the Britannia Stadium. And here is they got Rui Patricio and goal. Glenn Johnson. they got very good individuals. they got Shakiri and Arvich. Stephen Ireland is very good. They've got Waters up front who's very good at crosses. He's strong. So he will cause problems. But here is our team. We've got Jack Butland coming back against his former club. We've got Iorfa Chambers, Koscielny, Gibbs, Ramsey, Camacho, Sanchez, Kozola, Iwobi. And we've got Mbolo up front. So here we go. We've got a throw in here. Got Ayorfa back on the ball. Here we go. Goes past one tackle. He's waiting for a run. He waits and he gives it to Santi Cazorla. What's Santi Cazorla? He's going to get across. No, he's going to cut in. He's on his left foot and he smashes it towards the top corner. And he makes it 1-0 in the 11th minute. What a start. <clears throat> what a start. Ayorfa there getting kind of an assist, I believe. I believe that's an assist. But here we go. We've got a Wobi on his left foot. Just past the right-hand post. Could have gone on target. Could have caused problems. But here we go. We've got Stoke on the corner. And look at Koscielny controlling that. What a chest. What a bit of control. We've got Mbolo going past one. What's he going to do? Is he going to pass it? He gets tackled. But look at that. He wins it straight back with a bit of luck. And he gives it to Awobi. But it comes back. It comes out to Santi. Because all a bit of luck in this. He chips it over to Mbolo. Can't get the power. That was a bit lucky, that break. We've lost it a couple of times and lucky to get it back. But here we go. We've got Ayofa to Santi Cazorla. Gives it into Mbolo. Scoop turn out to Iwobi on his left. Straight down Rui Patricio's throat. Nothing troubling the keeper there. And it goes 1-0 at half time. Good start. We scored in the 11th minute. We could have had another goal at least. Got in good positions. But here we go, 59th minute, we've got Stoke on the attack, we've got Ireland, puts it out to Glenn Johnson who gives it to Shakiri. Shakiri whips in across, look at that, and a header towards goal, but what a save from Jack Butland, and we get it out. What a save, that is what they are missing. But they've got Rui Patricio, he's a very good goalie, but Jack Butland is young, he's got potential, and here we go, Jack Butland coming out again with the cross coming in. And we're going to take Santi Cazorla off, looking a bit tired. Ozil coming on. And we're going to take Sanchez off. We're going to put Gareth Bale. Look at the subs. Ozil Bale coming on. And Mares for Awobi, I believe. Yep, Awobi looking a little bit tired. What three subs that is. We get a corner, but Rui Patricio comes out with a good punch. It's a good punch. Look at that. It's the defence are not coming out, closing down. Here we go. We've got Mares on the ball. Goes past one. Goes past two, and Koscielny is there. He's through on goal. He shoots towards the far post, and he makes it 2-0. What a finish from a centre-back and the captain. Captain fantastic. I believe that's his second goal of the season. What a finish, and Mares gets an assist, but here we go. Stoke on the ball. He lays it off, and a volley towards goal. I believe that's Whelan, is it? 
a volley towards goal. I could have easily gone on target and made it 2-1. But here we go. We've got Ozil. Gives it to Bale. Bale, a bad first touch. But look at the strength to win that ball back. And he plays it into Ozil. A touch and he shoots towards goal. And with six minutes remaining, he makes it 3-0 in front of the Arsenal fans. Look at that. In front of the Arsenal travelling fans. There we go. We've got Butland. Plays it out to Ayofa. Basically nearly full time. But we've got Ayofa on the ball using his pace. Look at that. And he plays a good ball into Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale going to use his pace. Is he going to cut in? He cuts in on his left foot. He's going to have a shot. And he does. And he makes it 4-0. Absolutely dominating result. And a pretty, they, had a, they, had a, they had a couple of opportunities, I believe. They had a couple of opportunities. You know, they could have had one goal from that header. But there we go. Peter Crouch. Jesus Christ, I haven't seen him play for a long, long time. But here we go. We went 4-0. What a result. And we have transfer deadline day. And here we go. We actually put an inquiry about Rob Holding. Is that his name? Yeah, Rob Holding. And they want 625,000, which I've got 7 million. I'm not going to need the money anymore, am I? Because it's January, so I just go with it. I just put 625,000. And obviously they'll accept it because that's what they want. So here we go. Are they going to accept it? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Transfer offer accepted. He wants four years and £8,000. But as you can see, I didn't have enough, so I had to go to the transfer and mess around with the money so I had enough but I didn't show that so just telling you that I had to do that I didn't even notice I didn't have enough money I was like oh crap <laughs> there we go we got Rob Holding is he going to accept the contract we've got two messages seven hours left we got a transfer offer for Nacho Monreal which is very good want to offload him and Real Madrid 9.5 million which is very good so I accept that straight away. His value is 9 million. He's 29, so I don't think we're going to get any more than that for him. But we get Rob Holding. He accepts his contract offer. He accepts the contract. And we have a backup. We've got Gabriel. We've got Rob Holding now. Young defenders. We've got Chambers is young. But Chambers is very good. So, But he's going to get better. So we've got a good... Just maybe next at the start of next season, a couple more players. And... Player sold Nacho Monreal. We get seven million out of that nine and a half million, and I skipped two hours left. Nothing happens, but as you can see in the news section in the middle, look at Leicester City. Leicester City signed Andy Carroll for seven million. Aguero has gone to Bayern Munich, thirty-four million. That is so cheap. Boateng, forty-three and a half million to Barcelona. Eriksson to Valencia. That's a weird move. 28 and a half million, but 34 million for there we go. Get a uh, bruised tailbone six days. Santi Cazorla out for six days, which isn't bad, but yeah, 34 million for Aguero. That is that is so damn cheap, very, very cheap. And 162 million was spent in one day on transfers. That is crazy, <laughs> that is unbelievable. But here we go. We've got the table. We are first 22. Everyone has played 22. Look at that. We've got 57 points, we've won 18 games, we've drawn 3 and only lost 1. Letting 7, scored 43, which is so much more than any other team. Look at West Ham, still up there, 22 games played, they're still up there in 4th. We've got Spurs in 5th, Man United down in 8th. And there we go, Stoke in 10th place, having a decent season. Bournemouth in 11th, look at that, Swansea at bottom. Southampton have dropped into that relegation zone. I think they were already in that in the last episode. I'm not so sure, but they've dropped into that relegation zone. And on this, Everton have actually been taken over. They've been, you know, when they get taken over clubs, yeah, they got taken over and they are fighting relegation. But here we go. In the next games, we have, we're, we're away at Bournemouth for our 11th. So they're having a decent season. We've got a home to Chelsea and then we're at home to Leicester. I probably will sim that Leicester game. So yeah, hope to see you in the next episode. I'm going to leave it here for this episode. Remember, drop a like and a sub. And I'll see you in the next episode, guys. Have a nice day. Peace.